everybody, welcome back. Um, today I'm sharing a design team project for Calico Collage. This kit is called Daydreaming and it is a five and a half by an eight and a half inch journal. I've made this from a file folder and then I've covered it um, with another layer of scrapbooking paper and then I've reinforced the spine. Um, burlaps behind the image and then I've added this little um, saying here and then it's it's got a seam binding closure so it's a one signature uh, I don't recall how many pages but that that will be uh, in the listing so if you want to know it'll it'll all be in there so here I've just these are from the kit I've done some stitching created a little tag there that's one of the journal cards from the kit. Love that. That is such a pretty, pretty image. I've really enjoyed this kit. Um, I love all of the kits um, that Norella does, but these um, Birdsong and this Daydreaming are really my style. I love it. Absolutely love it. So, everything has been tea dyed. Um, Here's a pocket from the kit. It's another, um, this is a hand stamped, and then this is an image from it that I've created the tag with. That's one of the journaling cards from the kit. It's a very big kit. Uh, there's some ledger paper, another little um, tag. And here I've just created a little tuck spot there, and this is one of the journaling cards from the kit. Tuck that in. These are the tags from the kit. Love those. And then here I've just done a book page pocket and then did a little collage there. Um, this one I've got a little flip up, a tuck spot here so you could do some journaling there. This is an altar jumper, jumble uh, playing card that's been backed with some coffee dyed, or tea dyed paper, sorry. Um, and then this is just a handmade. Uh, tag that's come off. I'll have to come back. That was that was up there. I don't know why that didn't stick. So I'll have to go back and sort that out. Um, so here, um, this is some of the papers from it, and then here I've just done a little flip out. So you've got some extra space there, and a doily. Beautiful. Some. Um, Vintage book page. Um, this has been eco, um, sorry, avocado dyed paper there. Edith Holden page. Um, this one I've done some stitching. This is one of the tags from the kit, so I've just stitched around that. I've got that clipped in there, and then this is one of the little journaling cards from it. So that's on the other side. Now this is one of my. Um, music sheets that I've turned into um, two big pockets and I've sewn it in so you'll see there's nothing in it but that gives you plenty of room to put something else into it. This is a page from a um, gardening book I've got. Just a little um, doily tab there. This is another of the images. Uh, here I've got one of the pockets, several journal cards, and then just another little tag I've stuck in there. So you've got plenty of room for writing. This would last quite a while. This is a handmade um, paper envelope. So it's got a really nice feel to it. I haven't put anything in there, but you could stamp on this. You could paint on it. Um, do mixed media on that. There's quite a bit you could do with that because it's very, very sturdy. Center of the signature. A couple little butterfly cutouts. And then this is the other side of that um, envelope pocket. Here's um, one of the tags from the kit. And then this is another of the little journal cards. Uh, beautiful. Just such pretty colors. Especially now that we're in the middle of, uh, you know, we're coming into winter. This is a really, really makes you think of spring. Gives you a bit of hope that it's not going to stay cold forever. <laughs> Although I... Personally, would rather have the cold. I don't know if you guys have figured that out by now, but I'm not a fan of heat. Um, 
I like blue skies, but I like cool temperatures. This is another of the um, gardening pages, and then this is the other side of that. Um, um, vintage music sheet uh, pocket I made there. And then this is one of the images. I've just clipped that in there. That could uh, You could use it as a journaling card or you could put it as a flip up in the journal if you wanted. This is one of the vintage um, gardening pages I've got. I thought that was really pretty and went with this nicely. It's such a um, a pretty journal for thinking in terms of summer coming and you know summer and spring and everything flowering. I love love being out in the garden. Another of the um, stitch pages. So pretty. Just another one of those little tabs. It's another of the handmade cards and then this is the journaling. I love that with that little bird. Beautiful. And then just a little flip up here with some extra little papers for you to do some secret writing in. Um, this one's uh, another of the pockets from the kit. And then here, this is something I had. I did this on watercolor paper, I don't know, a couple of years back. And then I've just fussy cut around it and then that was embossed. So I've just glued that to the tag and I thought that, that was really pretty. It's got a lot of texture to it, so. Um, here's another one of those little tuck spots with one of the sayings from the kit. Love that. So, so pretty. Uh oh And then here we've got um, some, a glassine bag that I've, I've glued um, a doily too, and then did some of the fussy cutting from the kit, and then this is another of the tags that I made. So that's popped in there, and that's been sewn to the page. So, and that's another um, of the pages from the kit. Like I said, it's a really big kit, so you can do quite a lot with it. I even had some left over that I've uh, incorporated into a couple of other journals. And then this is the back page here. Just tuck these in so you've got a couple more little journaling spots there. And then that's the back of the journal. Um, so that's my design team project for the month from um, Calico Collage. I'll put the link below for this kit if you're interested in it. You can just click on that and that'll take you into her shop. So um, the journal will be up for sale, so I'll put the link below for that. And I hope you guys are all staying warm and staying safe, and I will talk to you very soon. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.